Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode three of World Wrestling GM Mode, and I am cannot and I cannot wait to see NXT. It's going to be a great episode. Oh, here at episode three, NXT has a fantastic card. Looking to try and outdo Raw and SmackDown, and I cannot wait to see what Kyle and uh. Uh, I can't see uh, uh, the what, you know the card that Kyle uh, Kyle Young and Adam Rage have put together for us, as we're gonna be starting off this show with a hardcore match from Warhorse and Nick Gage. This is gonna be a great one. I cannot wait to see this opening contest. This is definitely gonna be a great match. Uh, and uh, definitely, if you have not checked out episodes one and two, please do so. Uh, as uh, you'll get to see what Raw and SmackDown had to offer on their very first show. You also uh, do do not forget to check out the in the link below the in the in not the link in the uh, comments. Well, in the comments, in the de in the description, I know what I'm doing. In the description, you will see. Links to the Twitters of all the general managers, plus the Twitter where you will find all the updates involving this series. As we're going to be getting started here with this opening contest. And here he is, it's War Horse. The following contest is an extreme This is a hardcore match. match. To give contents the rule of this match, it St. is Louis, pinfalls, submissions, knockout and falls count anywhere anything goes it could end anywhere anything could happen and i can't wait to see what the result of this match is going to be these guys are both crazy and this is just a match for them we've already seen two injuries happen in this series over on raw both on raw we could see an injury right here this is not going to be a pretty match. Expect a lot of violence. And speaking of violence, no one knows violence better than this man, he Nick fucking Gage, the king of this shit, is here. And as you can see, he has a title, but... That is not an official title here in NXT. The story that I was given is that Nick Gage went to the warehouse where like a lot of old WWE stuff is held. He found the the general managers tried to stop him. He found the hardcore title, told them that he will be holding, he will be taking it. It's his now and he's going to walk around uh, in NXT with it. Uh, they tried to stop him. It wasn't going to happen. So they had to pay the owner of the series. Uh, $50 for that title. Normally, creating a title is $100, but since this is a previously made title that's not going to be official, it was only, I uh, only cost him $50. Uh, so, uh, he is the, he, he, he has bestowed himself to be the hardcore champion here at NXT. He's the self-proclaimed hardcore champion, but who, you, uh, are you going to tell Nick Gage what to do? I don't think anyone is. This match is getting started. Just like him, he don't follow rules. Just like this match, there are no rules for Nick Gage. As we are already starting off hard hitting. Oh, what a boo! Both men are throwing a big shot right at the start. Big kick to the midsection. My question is, how long will this match stay in the ring? It's only a matter of time before this is taken to the floor. Uh, oh, try to go for the back suplex, but flips out of it. Nick Gage, while well, much more, it's going to be much more of a brawler compared to Warhorse in his athleticism. So we'll see if uh, that that Warhorse athleticism will help him get one over on Nick Gage. This has been some kind of match already. Right at the start, it's been hard hitting, and we already just got our first pinfall. Trying to go for that knee, that knee. Nick Gage without the win. Oh, what a hilarious! Trying to take off Warhorse's head. Beaten down on him again. How long before this gets to the floor? We start seeing weapons. I just just throwing the punches and chops off the ropes. Oh, duck down. Oh, jumped over. Oh, trying to pick up the gate. Oh, what a headbutt right between the eyes. 
And now we're gonna go for an exploder suplex. And a kick right to the chest. Nick Gage is taking control of this match. Now Irish Whip setting it into the corner. Big. Uh, uh, Larry to the back. And now looking for a Russian Lake Sweet dropping more horse. Trying to get the crowd behind him as he just starts bashing the skull of Warhorse into the mat. And sending him into the corner. And a kick. Oh, trying to go for the kick. Warhorse turning things around here. And looking to send Nick Gates out to the floor hard. Now, it is, what is Warhorse planning on here? Oh, he's looking for some for some toys. Oh, uh, he pulled out a ladder. Nick Gage, I think I saw a smile on his face. And oh, he took the ladder from Warhorse and just bashed him with it. And now gonna try to go for a cover. One, dude. Oh, a kick out of one. I'm sure a normal person would have been done by now, but not Warhorse. Man's got a hard head. Now, oh, look at that. No, 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 not on the floor. Not on the floor. Oh, my gosh. A pile driver on the floor. But well, somehow Warhorse is up. And, oh, what a headbutt. Who takes a pile driver and then delivers a headbutt not long after? And now going to do a Northern Light suplex. I don't know how Warhorse has recovered. But I think I see blood. As he's going to send Nick Gage back. Back into the ring. Now we're gonna go to the top. Is he? Oh, oh, was a little off there. I think he might be a little bit dazed. I don't think Boros is is all the guys we thought he was for a moment. I think he is pretty hurt, and now he definitely is as he gets as he takes the choke breaker. And now one, two, but Warhorse stays in it. I think that pile drive on the floor might have sent. Uh, Warhorse for a little bit of a loop because he completely missed that top rope maneuver. Completely un mistook the distance. Oh, wait. Nick Gage tried to go for a diving elbow but did not connect. But able to recover and just drop Warhorse, who I think is definitely might be could have a concussion he definitely is a little bit loopy and uh, nick gage might be thinking that too as he just bashes the skull of the mat trying to go for the cover but it gets a two count this is looking bad for warhorse as he gets a snap mare now just rake at the rake at the face going after that wound and now we're gonna go for a submission here gonna try and make warhorse submit warhorse is in a lot of trouble he's able to get out of the hole he got caught, he got caught. And oh, dropped on his head and neck again with a brain buster. And now gonna go for a cover. One, two, and oh, again, Warhorse with a kick out. Now going to look to go for the choke breaker again. A second choke breaker. And oh, I think he's, oh, the ref's calling it. I, I think the ref doesn't think Warhorse can compete anymore. Gosh, there's that ladder shot. I think Warhorse is just done. When he went to the floor, it was all over. Nick Cage, my gosh, such a dangerous man. I don't know if that was the ladder shot or th I, I think it was this. This is where it all went downhill for Warhorse. There's definitely got to be something wrong. And Nick Gage did not show any mercy at all whatsoever. He continued the offense with, uh, without, and Warhorse just really could not get back into this match. Just unrelenting, just beating at the. At the, attacking the head, attacking the neck with more maneuvers there. He kept trying to put Warhorse away. That might have been the most mercy he was trying to give, but Warhorse just kept fighting. There's that brain buster there. Still wouldn't give up even after that. Oh, Nick Gage just had to keep going and he went for the choke breaker, and that where the referee, I think, just said enough is enough. 
Got the call in. There you have it. There's your, your self-proclaimed hardcore the champion. Nick the king Gage. of this shit. Nick fucking Gage himself just won this match by referee decision. Someone get a, get a checkup on Warhorse. He could be hurt. I think we're going to have to get a stretcher. I don't think he's walking out of here. He definitely seems happy about himself. As we're going to be getting into uh, our second contest. Definitely, I'm sure we'll hear more. I hope to hear more about the uh, how Warhorse is doing after the show because he could be definitely hurt. Uh, congrats, uh, give it to Warhorse for giving the best fight he could, but Nick Gage is a monster. Is a different kind of monster. When he sees and I don't, I don't think he has any mercy for anybody. I don't think it helped more or as much either though. After taking that neck, that freaking pile driver, he went right for a, used his head for a headbutt. Was well, not the smartest idea. But we just move on. It's time for the second match. It's a triple threat, and it's for the Cruiserweight title. One of four titles that are going to be crowned tonight. I cannot wait to see who is going to walk away champion here. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be, this talk about brutal fights. It's going to be a different kind of brutal fight. Because you got two guys who are great at uh, striking, but are definitely great submission wrestlers. Both Zack Sabre Jr. and Koshida. But then you got this man, Tommaso Ciampa. Probably one of, probably is up there with Nick Gage is one of the most brutal, sadistic men on this roster and will do anything to hurt and has done and will do almost anything to hurt somebody. And he is, he knows how to hurt you by with strikes. He, 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 he has some submission background. I know at the very least he's very good with that Fujiwama armbar. All four, all three of these men have at least are very good at targeting the arm. So definitely could be ending with someone having a very sore arm or dislocated or even broken. We'll, we'll see with Chomp. Chomp has many tools to win a match. But here comes one of the uh, the second man in this match. A great star over in New Japan. Actually is joined by... Minoru Suzuki here in NXT. They are Suzuki gun tonight, and both men are in a title match. They can both be walking away here with gold. Dax Aver Jr. could walk away cruiserweight champion. Minoru Suzuki could walk away NXT champion. That'd be a good night for those two. And both of them walk away a winner. As Dax Aver Jr., very smart wrestler. Despite he, 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 despite being a, uh, not the most muscular, his he has that length to him, and he uses it to great efficiency when it comes to strikes and submissions. This man knows how to pull apart a, a body. Oh, definitely, and like I said, he is a smart wrestler. So something a match like this definitely could play into his favor. He can find the right opportunity to win the match, and now. Here comes, speaking of New Japan, one of New Japan's probably best junior heavyweights. Here comes Koshida himself. This man right here is just in the, uh, one of the best junior heavyweights in the and world. From Tokyo the fans Japan, love him, and he knows that's and he knows how to put people away, especially Kushida. with that hoverboard lock. The hoverboard lock is a very dangerous maneuver. It's hard to say who's got the advantage in this match. All of them are hard hitting. They know how to put people away with some missions. They're both, all three are tough. It's going to be really hard to say what will be the factor that can play into this match. Will it be a, it's really hard to say. I would have to say this match is pretty equal despite being a triple threat where everyone only has a 33% uh, a uh, chance of winning. 
which is uh, not an even number, but I give an even shot to ev all three of these guys. It's really impossible to say who could win. But whoever does will be very it will be a very hard task to take away that cruiserweight title for whoever does win. And I'm sure. And pushing to get the fans behind him. He is ready for this match. He looks ready. As this match is about to take place for the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. One of four titles that will be crowned tonight. The referee holding that championship up in the air. Letting the competitors see it. Ciampa is ready. Zack Sabre Jr. focused. So is Koshida. As this match is on the way. Here we go. And oh, what a chop right to the chest. Another open palm strike to the chest. Now trying to wind up that arm already early in the match. And Zack Sabre Jr. just hanging out in the corner. And oh wait, coming from behind, going after Ciampa. Oh wait, I think was trying to get Kushida to work with him. Maybe be like, hey, we're both from New Japan, let's take this guy out and we'll fight between all of us. But oh, takes down Ciampa with that draw kick right to the chest. Oh, open palm strike, another one, a third, getting Kushida in the corner, kick and a chop, just throwing all these strikes with Kushida trapped in the corner there. But oh, Ciampa gets back up, oh, turns around. Now look at this. Oh, got that arm trap in a big scoop slam with the arm trap. Now going out to the arm. Already trying to do some damage to the arm and now going to turn his attention as Kushida was getting back onto his feet. Like, oh, targeting the arm of Kushida. So he then sends him to the floor. Oh, Kushida grabbing at the, his, he might have landed on his, uh, on his arm there. On the way down. Now Zack Sabre Jr. going to put his attention to Ciampa. As he drops the knee right on the hand. And now again going to go at that arm. No, wait, no, no, no. No, no, wait, don't, Zack, don't do that. Oh, my gosh. He snapped it back. He could have dislocated it doing that. Oh, what a kick. And he might have he caught uh, Koshida a little there. Oh, now the fight has begun. These dudes are both beating on Zack Sabre Jr. He's now kicking at the legs. Now going to turn to Ciampa. Oh, ducked under or whatever. Koshida trying to swing at him. Ducked under, but connected with that German suplex. Now Palm Strike puts him in the corner. Now setting him up in the Tree of Woes. And a stop right to the midsection. Oh, but here comes Zack Sabre Jr. with some Palm Strike. But that gets blocked in a knee, jumping knee strike. Takes out Zack Sabre Jr. Kushida with the jaw jacker and a lariato drops him down. But no, no, gonna go settle that arm again. That's the same arm that got snapped back, folded it up and stumped right on the elbow. And not gonna try to go for a cover one, but uh, he's gonna take a lot more than uh, stomping on Ciampa's elbow to get him to stay down. The kick right to the back and oh, what a drop kick. Right to the back of the head by Zack Sabre Jr. Koshida didn't even see it coming. They gave him a cover. We're trying to go for something there. That got countered. I got him in the headlock. And again, go oh, swinging him around with the arm and dropping the leg right on top of the arm there. And again, oh no. Zack, don't do it. He really, he tried to dislocate the arm of Ciampa. I think he's trying to dislocate it at this point as he just snapped it back again and now he's gonna go for the arm. He's gonna look to submit him and he's got the leg too. Oh wait, Koshida, Koshida got a chair. Oh, he knocked the ref out. Oh, he hit the ref again. Koshida, what the hell? Koshida was making sure the referee would stay down. Oh, but he gets taken out by Ciampa. I don't know how Chop is back up to his feet, but here comes Zack Sabre Jr. Again, gonna go out there, chop his arm. And now he's trying to go for the drop kick. <laughs> the referee is out. He could be really hurt. Thanks to Koshida. I don't know what Koshida was thinking. But oh wait, got Zack Sabre Jr. down. He's got him in the arm. 
But oh, it gets broken up. The referee was just getting up. He would have been able to call it as he would have seen it. Big Larry takes down Koshida. Oh no, Zachary Jr. does not see the fight between those two is over. He gets dropped. And I was trying to go for the punch, got countered. Oh, they're gonna look for setting him up here. Fisherman suplex. No wait. Kushida. Oh, not gonna let him get it. Oh wait, turned around because he wants it in his finishing maneuver. He's got the guillotine. He's got him locked in the guillotine. Chopper's out, but no Kushida. Kushida, look at the strike as he gets up and drops him on his back. And a German suplex on Zack Sabre Jr. And that's got to take him out for the moment. You know, now got him in Kushida in the headlock, but gets countered, slaps the hand away. Got the arm. He's got the arm. He's got him over. Can he get him? He's got the hoverboard lock. He's got it locked in. But oh, quickly rolls over and a forearm breaks the hold. Ciampa did not want to be in that hole for very long. Oh, driver of the face right into the knee. Oh, counter there. Counter, punch the ribs. Got caught, Irish whip, sends him into the corner. Oh, missed the drop kick. Oh, up of the shoulders. Airy crash. And now Ciampa looking to end it. Koshida's out on the floor. Chopper could end it right here. He's gonna look for Widow's Bell. He's got him set up. Here comes Willow's Bell. Koshida hasn't got up. He got, just got up though. There's no way Chopper's gonna be able to get that cover. He's got that leg hook, but oh, the referee again. Koshida goes after the ref to make sure the hole got broken. And again, target in the arm. Oh, drop kick takes down Chopper. What is with Koshida targeting the referee and just, oh, driving the leg into the mat. Koshida's out for blood tonight. And now going for that submission, but the referee is down. There can't be a submission. The referee's out. Ciampa tapped. Ciampa tapped. After all the damage done to the arms, he tapped out, but he could. there couldn't be no decision. No one like suplex. I think Koshida kind of cost himself there. He could have been Cruiserweight Champion right now. I'm trying to target the leg, but oh, gets kicked away. Kick to the midsection, kick again. Major for put a palm strike. Setting him up in the corner. Oh wait, counter. Oh, up on the road, whoa, whoa, whoa. Duck, and a big running elbow. And oh wait, Ciampa tried to steal it. Zack Sabre Jr. not gonna let it happen. And a punch to the face, caught him. German suplex brings down Zack Sabre Jr. Everyone's down but Ciampa. Ciampa could take it right here. But oh wait, Zack Sabre Jr. out of nowhere. Hurricane Rana. What a moment you're waiting, but Ciampa rolling away. Now trying to get a cup. Zack Sabre Jr. gonna try to cover Koshida. One, two, Koshida kicks out. Koshida able to get back up to his feet and now try to go for a quick cover. One, two, and oh, a kick out. I'm about to hit hard when he picked the legs. Now Koshida trying to get Zach Sabre Jr. back up to his feet. Trying to go for something there, but gets countered. And oh, duck. Big Lariat by Koshida. Now going for another cover. That could have been it. One, two, and a kick out at two. Here comes Ciampa. Oh, get to the midsection. Oh, look at this. He's got him. Fairy tale ending. This is the fairy tale ending for Ciampa. One, two. Oh, Kushida kicked out. Kushida just able to kick out and was not able to stop the fairy tale ending. And just throws Ciampa back outside. Oh, got caught there. And now picked up, wait, wait, Zach Driver, Zach Driver. Oh, but the foot was under the rope. You gotta think that would have been it. He had just took, uh, just got hit with the fairy tale ending. That would have put away Koshida. 
bad ring, ring awareness for Zack Sabre Jr. as he throws Kushida to the floor hard. Oh wait, Zack Sabre Jr. actually wants to go after Ciampa instead. I think he recognizes that Ciampa's arms are completely damaged and he knows he could tap him out if he gets him in the ring, but Ciampa's not gonna let it happen. But he's still, despite the hurt arms, he is still throwing those punches. Oh, no way, got caught. Oh, I think he's trying to get off for a Northern Light suplex, but Ciampa countered. But oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, off the post, the ring post. Ciampa using the ring to his advantage. Oh, I think Ciampa was trying to wiggle the pain out of his arms. That level him to get caught by Koshida. The fight has take, taken to the floor. We've already, This match should already be over. If it wasn't for Koshida, I don't know what's going on with him. He has come, has taken the ref out completely twice. Once with a steel chair. And the second time he did it, it cost him because he did. Ciampa submitted with it, when, when he locked in that arm bar. But there was no referee to call the match. Now, Zack Sabre Jr. with the palm strike and sending Ciampa into the ring. Koshida is down. Zack Sabre Jr. taking some time to taunt at... No, wait. Now he's going outside. What's he doing? Now he's going back in. He, he, he just wanted to mock Koshida, I guess. Is now... What is this? Now he just send... What is he planning on doing here? Now bring it up back in to drive into the mat and then go right into that arm bar. He's got it locked, but it uh, gets broken up. He wasted too much time. Koshida was able to get back up to his feet. Oh, Koshida got, got punched there. He's on the ropes. Oh, got caught. Back suplex drops him. And oh, trying to go for Koshida, but Koshida might have been playing uh, possum there. Arm strike turned him around, turned him around again. He's got him up and just drives him into the corner and tosses him to the side. Targeting that back. And now throwing him over the ropes. Punch to the face. Oh wait, Widow's Bell! The Widow's Bell! But he does not go for a cover. Now he wants to do more damage. Ciampa looking for blood. Oh no, he's gonna look to get some payback. His entire match, his arm's been targeted. Oh, big Instagram. He didn't take all of it, though, and he got he got back up. Oh, he got him caught. Oh, what a net breaker. That kick did not completely caught Ciampa. He only got him in the arms. He was able to get back up to his feet. Now looking for the cover. One, two. The aircraft net breaker nearly putting away Zack Sabre Jr. Oh, big up her elbow right to the top of the head. And I'll wait, I'll check out for the boot. We got caught. Now gonna roll to the outside. Oh. Oh, kick to the midsection. Oh, wait, caught. He caught Koshida. Yeah, he, no, but the ropes. The ropes broke it up. Now boot right to the face. Now try to go for a cover. One, two. Max Haber Jr. able to kick out. She has gotta be feeling all kinds of frustration. An elbow right to the top of the head. You know, because she didn't know he was going to win this. And now I think he's setting up for that big, big punch. Here it comes. There's that right hand, that knockout punch. Now setting him back up. What is he planning on doing here? Here goes Chopper, though. I don't know what that was. Oh, big knee strike hits. Oh, that kick to the midsection. Oh, caught the second kick. Knee to the face. A second knee. Takes down Koshida. There's Zack Sabre Jr. back in the ring. And look at this. Got the submission hole locked in. Oh my gosh. Completely takes the ref out. The poor referee. Inseguri takes down Ciampa. And now Jay Zack Sabre Jr. wants to go for something big here. But no. Gets countered. And Alaria takes him to the floor. Oh, what is this? Ciampa doing. Ciampa going to have to go to the floor, but actually, no, he wants to put his attention back on Koshida. No, actually, no, he wants to go to, he wants to go for a, for it all. But, oh, he, Jack Sabre Jr. moved out the way. Ciampa just took himself out. Koshida, though, went to the floor. No, wait, went back into the ring. 
I don't know what the two doing. Oh, big elbow. Puts him into the corner. What's this? Oh, look at this. Look at this uh, submission in the ropes. This is not a legal submission. Both men are back in the ring. Ciampa has put his attention. Oh, wait, got caught. No, gets broken up. Look at the set him up for a big back suplex. Drops him down. And now, oh, he got Ciampa. Ciampa was it? Oh, there. Oh, he's got him down. He's got him down. But wait, Ciampa's fighting. He got back onto his feet and he slammed Zack Sabre Jr. into the mat. And now look at this. Oh, trying to, I don't know what he's going for. But he countered. Looking for the notalized suplex. This match has had so many moments where it could have ended. Now look at the set him up into the corner. And a shot to the back. Oh wait, look at the, Krishida look at the take out Zack Sabre Jr. Ciampa just letting it happen. And oh, ducked it. He ducked. Oh no, he didn't. Got caught. And now Koshida got control. Is he going to end the match right here? He's got the arm. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. But no, wait. He's got him. He's got him. And he tapped. Ciampa tapped. He couldn't take it anymore. He tapped. Koshida. And Zack Sabre Jr. is frustrated, but Koshida did it. Koshida. There are so many close moments in this match, and in the end, Koshida had already technically won this match unofficially. But in the end, he got what he wanted. He is now the NXT Cruiserweight Champ. There, I think that was that was that first time. Ciampa tapped. The R's have been getting, were targeted the entire match, and Ciampa just had such a hard time. Two opponents doing the same things to him. They both wanted Ciampa as their target. And there you have it. But I want to know what the heck was going on with Koshida attacking the referee so much, and so brutally, too. But he's definitely happy. He did it. Koshida is your NXT champion. There it is. Congratulations to Koshida. And we're going to be moving on. We got ourselves some women's action. As we're going to see a very interesting pair together. As Utami and Naomi will be teaming tonight against the Riot Squad. It will definitely be interesting to see how this goes. It's one of the best uh, over in Joshi Star. Uh, over, uh, one of the best Joshi wrestlers over in New Japan. Uh, I'm just getting everything wrong. Uh, one of the best stardom wrestlers. I am just doing great right now tonight. Is here, but here comes Naomi. We'll see how she's going to do with Yutami. It's definitely going to be a very interesting match. We'll see if Naomi will be able to work with Yutami. Definitely, it's definitely, this is definitely, we're getting a, a little bit of a look at the tag, or what could be the tag, how the tag division is going to be here. There are the NXT Women's Champion, uh, Tag Team Champions, though they're not being crowned tonight. But, uh, you never know, uh, can't wait to see when NXT plans on crowning those, uh, having uh, a match for that, those titles. It's definitely going to be very interesting, I know you already such a has so much energy crowd loves her let's see how she does here tonight let's here comes Yutami from Osaka Japan you 
One of the best from stardom. A fantastic Joshi wrestler. We'll see how she does here with Naomi when they go up against the Riot Squad, which a great tag team. Definitely going to be an interesting uh, outcome nonetheless. As here comes the Riot Squad. Oh, here comes one member of the Riot Squad. And their opponents first from Elmwood. First coming to the ring and Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan. Morgan and both of these both of the Riot Squad members are absolutely incredible. Can't wait to see what these what they'll uh bring tonight. As here comes Ruby Riot. Here she comes, Ruby Riot, one of the definitely an amazing competitor. Her and Liv are definitely a great tag team. They've done great work in the WWE together. Uh, they haven't done a whole tag team titles. We'll see if that will change. Will these two be one of those uh, tag women's tag teams that will be vying for those titles when they're when the management is ready to crown champions? This match is about to get started as Liv Morgan and Naomi will be starting things off as going right in with a will bear. Will. Now we're gonna go off the ropes and oh what a boo. A big chop. These two are gonna go back and forth. Naomi looking to go for a drop kick on the corner, drop and Liv Morgan. Now we're gonna send her into the corner. Tag made. Is Ruby going to come in and a big, oh, just an accident right to the arm there. But let me try to fight back already, but gets caught with one of those kicks and immediately gets turned over for a Boston Crab. All right, squad looking for a win early in this match, but able to use those, that leg strength, able to break the hold. Oh. Big shot to the head there, now sending her into the corner, and oh, wait, caught her, oh, caught her, and Joe oh, driving her right into the turnbuckles there. Riot Squad is taking a firm control in this tag match. I think uh, it would be best if they would keep, oh, well, Naomi is a fantastic wrestler uh, and a former SmackDown Women's Champion. I think it would be best for them to keep uh, Yutami out as she is just one of the absolute best over in stardom. And I would not want to deal with her, but as I say that, I don't think there's going to have much of a choice as Naomi fights through the stomps and gets right in and able to get that hot tag in. But right, Ruby able to take control quickly. And, oh, catch you, Tommy! I was about to say, you know, but, you know, Rice Ball might not have any issues here tonight. And again, as soon as Yudami got in the ring, immediately Ruby took control here. We're trying to go for the camp, and a big Lariat drops her down. Looking to pick her up. Oh, you Tommy, what is this? Setting her up. Looking for a sit-out power bomb. Tommy is quite the one of a uh, very much a strong athlete. Oh, look at this. As she got up and a stomp right to the arm. And oh, a drop kick as she got up. You Tommy is taking control. And Liv wants the tag, but Ruby can't get to her. Now look at this. Look at this. 
Picks her up, Deadlift, and then a big gut wrench power bomb sit out and a cover, but only on one count. Dami has taken control of this match completely. And now just stomping off the back. Now look at this pulling the arm back. I mean, he's taking complete control of this match. And now just stomp it away at the chest. And now uh, going to go with the figure four around the head here. Trying to try and make Ruby submit. But, oh, able to roll her off. No oh, arm strike. This strikes all over the body. Picks her up. And dunk her right in front of Naomi in her own corner. And now Ruby might have just been able to take control back of this match. Double knees to the back. And now Irish Whip into the corner. Oh, wait, she caught her again. Again, catching her and driving her face first into that turnbuckle. And now look at the picker up. Ruby has just taken control. Just when it looked like Utami was in firm control. Eventually, Ruby was able to take it back. But Ruby might want to look to eventually make a tag here. Now, oh, what a hard shot right to the back. As now Ruby going to go to the top. And going to look for that. Oh, that big senton. But Yutami moved out the way. And now looking for a... No, trying to go for the German. But Ruby flipped out of it. But oh, got caught and sent hard into the turnbuckle. And no, look at this. Look at the strength here. Picked her up. Running power slam. One and a kick out of one. You Tommy got to be one of the strongest women on this roster. Pound for pound has to be strong, the strongest. You don't see too many women of her size doing uh, the things you've been seeing you Tommy doing. Is now just kicking at the face. All by herself, she has taken control of this match. And now look at that. Don't just drive the face of Ruby Riot. She's tired of getting her face driven to the turnbuckle and says, your turn times 10. Oh, but Ruby able to get back up to her feet. Oh, but caught her. Sends her into the turnbuckle. Forearm strike. Roll through. Wait, what's this? Sent her up. Big shot to the back of the head. And now, oh, grabbing her by the hair here. And you're going to look for the submission hold, making her right, right where she's looking at her partner. She's got her in this hold here, but able to, you know, throw, able to get her arm free and throw the elbow right into the face to break the hold. And now, what is this? Riot kick out of nowhere. Ruby thought it's time to end this. Thought it was too dangerous to keep going, too. But you, Tommy says, no, I'm not done. Ruby gonna, oh, is you gonna, she's gonna look for it again, I think. Oh wait, no, counter. Irish whip, send her over the ropes. And a tag, it finally tagging out, giving it to Liv Morgan. And a snapmare sends her back in the ring, trying to go for the kick, but moves out the way. German suplex connecting. And a wake oh counter there. And a forearm strike into the corner. What's this? Going up top. Oh, wait, caught her. Faded her in. Code red there. One. But oh, break up. Kids in the midsection. Ruby. Ruby looking for a power bomb. Oh, wait, counter. What's this? And oh, drives her down. The team of Utami and Naomi just able you know, to turn this match around. That could have been bad. Now it's it. It's only counter. Irish Whip sends her into the corner. And a tag is made. Now Ruby and Liv with a double hip toss. And uh, stopping Yutami from being able to go for a tag. Going for the legs. Realizing she needs to maybe take that vertical base. Make it impossible to use the strength that she's been showing. Oh, Ruby. Ruby here. 
Two. And Liv quickly getting rid of Naomi. Oh, but a shot to the midsection. And a big lariat. And now I'm going to look in that short time. Utami just turned this whole thing around. But a counter there. And now Irish Whip sends her into the corner. Oh, but a boot to the face. Kick to the midsection. Ruby gonna look for the power bomb. Power bomb connecting. And now gonna let her go for a cover. One, two, but you Tommy able to kick out of two. It's still not enough. Naomi just getting back up to her feet. Don't think she would have made it in time to break it up. Well, there's Jawjacker. Now an Irish whip. Sending Ruby into the corner, but oh, an elbow. Now look at this. Diamond being sent over the ropes and hits the floor hard. Look at this. Look at that screen. Just trying to get a crowd behind her. Look at that. Oh, oh, big. Hurricane Rana on the floor there. Now that this roll through, kick to the head. I don't know what Ruby's intentions are. I'm going to roll her up again in a second kick to the head. Now a kick to the ankle, there, uh, to the knee there. And a drop kick. I think Ruby's just trying to beat you, Tommy, up and get a count out victory. Everyone do what Ruby's trying to do here. Tag out. Eight. Oh, Utami got back in the ring, though, at a nine. That could have been bad. And immediately, oh, out of frustration, just grabbed the hair and drive Liv Morgan into the mat. Is Utami finally going to tag out here? Yes, she is. Good idea. As she had taken a lot of damage. But Ruby. I mean, I mean uh, Liv. Look at the go. Got the jaw jacker stunning Naomi. And oh, trying to go with the knees in the corner. Missed it. Big Hurricane Rana. Now, look at the center into the corner. Drop kick, but no way got countered by Liv. Oh, trying to grab her up, but kick in the midsection. Trying to go for the drop kick. Missed it. And a leg drop. He's still going back and forth. Now what is this? Irish Whip setting her into the corner. And look at the setter up here. Look at that leg split. Moonsault. And now we'll end it. Look at the setter up. Kit to the midsection. She's going to go for Field of Glow. But is she too close? No, she's able to get her away from the road. She's got the hold locked in. The arms are trapped. Will Liv Morgan submit? Will Liv submit? It Liv does. Liv submits. Now, the team of Naomi and Utami able to pick up the victory. What a back and forth contest that was. I thought the Riot Squad had it won throughout the I uh, had this match in confirmed control throughout the match. But in the end, all it took was that, you know, one big move from that big submission hold. They couldn't find a way out of it and had to tap out. There you have it. The unlucky duo here picks up the victory. Congratulations. Tommy and Naomi pick up the victory. Could this be a possible tag team that we could see more of? Or is this just a one-time thing? Only time will tell. As we're going to be moving on in this time for the NXT Tag Team Championships to be crowned in a triple threat match. We got the Usos. We got Redragon. And we got... Mustache Mountain. This is definitely going to be a fight. 
And I can't wait to see who's going to come out on top. Who's going to be our ta our NXT Tag Team Championship? I uh, definitely think Roman Reigns had a... I uh, definitely had a talk with the Usos. As Roman Reigns will be in the main event in the Fatal Five Way. The crown the NXT Champion. He once probably would have told the Usos, Tonight you have to win. All of us have to win. The bloodline must walk out with all... With, with gold. What a statement of power that would be for the bloodline. If that were to happen. As here they come. Here comes the Usos. Making his way to the ring. And they represent the bloodline. 479 pounds. Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso. These guys are amazing tag team wrestlers. But of course tonight will not be... This is not the, uh, this will not be a typical tag match. This is tornado style. Everyone is legal and it's one pinfall to a finish. This could happen at any moment, but at any time, anywhere. You just gotta be the right place at the right time. Jim, Jim Uso and main event, Jay himself, Jay Uso. Next, here they come. It is Reed Dragon, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish. And his opponents, first, at a combined weight of 397 These guys are um, been big mainstays Fish. in the tag team division here at NXT. They have won the tag titles multiple times. These guys know how to get it done. Very dangerous with their strikings and submission. They are ready for a fight. Especially Kyle Riley, who you know he had some time as a sink, has had some time as a single competitor. He knows how to get it done. Even beat uh, Adam Cole before. We'll see how uh, now that he's back in the back in the tag team with his partner Bobby Fish. They are now. Got to be known as Reed Dragons. We'll see how things go for them tonight. It's not going to be an easy one, though. The Uso, I know the Usos, they're going to do everything they can. I know uh, Roman probably really dug into them and told them how much they had to win tonight. And But here comes Mustache Mountain. Here they, we wait for them to come to the ring. Here they are, it's Mustache Mountain. Tyler Bay and Trent Seven. These two, such good friends, such great competitors, both singles and tag team. They've won the NXT Tag Team titles before. They uh, were close to becoming the first ever NXT UK Tag Team Champions. These two guys are absolutely incredible in the ring. It's really going to be hard to say who could win this match. All three competitive, all three teams are absolutely amazing tag teams. And the crowd absolutely loves Mustache Mountain. Look at the big strong boy. You saw how far he was pulling those ropes. Big strong boy is a strong boy indeed. And they are ready for the night. They look confident. British strong style is here. As this match is about to start, and here we go. And oh, <laughs> Jay jumping right over that, whatever that attempt was from Bobby Fish. We got Jay go with Bobby. We got Jimmy with, I believe that's, uh, he got taken out there by Trent there. And now he's dealing with Trent Seven. Bobby and Kyle Riley with 
uh, Tyler Bay. Look at this, look at this. Oh, Five Fish already going for a submission here right at the beginning of the match. Trying to get a quick win here. Jimmy wasn't paying attention, didn't see his partner was in trouble. Oh, big chopper into the throw. Now we got another submission here. And it gets broken up. Early tie now. Look at that. Oh, what a kick right to the chest. Another submission hold. Three Dragons are really trying to end this quickly. Oh, what a headbutt by Jimmy to the back of Tyler Riley's head. Three Dragons got a smart plan. They're trying to go for some missions early and trying to end this as fast as possible. Look at this. Jimmy with the DDT to the foot. Now turning his attention to Trent Seven. As Bobby Fish and Tyler Bate fight it out. Oh, try to go for that flying form, but it would just make him drop the floor hard. Right to the mat hard. And he gets grabbed by Kyle O'Reilly, but counter. Now looking to go for up. Oh, big suplex. Hard to say who's got control in this match. And oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh, the referee just got taken down there. And oh, fist drop to the floor. No, look at that. Look at the big strong boy with a German soup, a deadlift German soup like the Kyle O'Reilly as the, as the many of the competitors have taken to the floor to fight. Oh, right there. Kyle. Trent Seven just got sent back in the ring, and here comes Jimmy. And oh, he's going to the top. Is he looking for the Uso splash already? No, an elbow drop, and oh, but he connected with Bobby Fish. My Fish actually assisted him on uh, not hitting the mat. Oh, what a driver. And I believe, uh, oh, Jimmy was actually trying to go, uh, had the Teal Sun right, oh, roll up there. Tyler Breeze, uh, I mean Tyler, Tyler Breeze, Tyler Bay tried to steal it. And now we got a fight going on here. Oh, got caught, but not, not, was dropped, it wasn't even meant for him. That actually kind of saved Bobby Fish there as he just takes control of Tyler Bay. Now, oh wait, got turned around. And don't pop them up and drop them. He hit the mat hard. Oh, Rick ran right into him. Oh, got caught with the kick. Now setting him to the outside. The referee got taken out. Oh, first. oh, what a super kick by Jimmy Uso. Now just going for a nerve hold here. Oh, look at this headlock. No, oh, got. Trent Seven down, looking for that inverted figure four. He's got the hold locked in, but it gets broken up. Oh, what is this? Main event, Jade. Look at this, what is he doing? Oh my gosh, super flex to the floor. Bobby Fish out of submission, he gets broken up. Oh, look at this, a Moen drop for the Tyler Bay. Trent Seven now trying to get back into this. He's got Bobby Fish up for the burning hammer. And that could be enough. Is he going for the cover? Like Jimmy Uso there to break it up. They're trying to take him out with these strikes. Tyler Riley going after Jay Uso on the floor. Oh, look at that thing. Trying to get him up for the. Samoan drop did not work, and oh, look at that mountain bomb. But the dude doing that move just took too much out of him. He went to the floor, and now got caught. German suplex onto Tyler, Bre onto Tyler Bate. Look at this. Oh, set him up. A caught big snap suplex by Jimmy. Bobby Fish looking for something there. Got countered. Roll through. Got that ankle, but it gets broken up by Jimmy Uso. Oh, 
Russian leg sweep. Now look at the setup. Bobby Fish here. Knee to the face, net breaker combination. Oh, Jimmy looking for a cover one, but Kyle O'Reilly there to save his partner from being pinned. Oh no, that wasn't uh, Bobby, that was, oh, what Kyle looks to do, take advantage of the being, of the damage that was done on Tyler Bay as he got that submission, he got that guillotine, but it gets broken up. Jimmy Uso playing spoiler tonight. Big super kick, takes him down, and now going for a cover, but oh, Kyle is just there, just in time to get broken up, and now the Usos are all over it. Oh wait, oh, his back gave out. Oh, cross body. He's pinning, he's pinning Jay, one. But Kyle Riley breaks it up. Oh, kick to the midsection. Doesn't get all of it though. Oh, oh looking for that single leg of Boston Crab. It gets broken up. Oh, she's not letting go of the hold. But he's Tyler, Chris Evans gets out on his own. Oh, no, look at this, roll through, looking for the submission. He's got the, he's got him, but no, not able to get it. And now, Kyle O'Reilly went out diving up, no! Jimmy went out the way, but caught him with a super kick. Oh, we got a cover. One, but Kyle was able to break it up, save his partner. Oh, look at this, combination of strikes, taking down Jey Uso. That could knock him out too, but Jimmy there to break it up. Jimmy really is playing spoiler. Oh, there was another cover. I wouldn't even, I didn't even see that for a moment. I did not even see that. Oh, look at this. Tyler Driver. One, two, but a kick out. He gets caught. This has been an absolute fight. Big lariat there. Look at this, look at this. Snap it back. And there's a leg. Poison Rana. Went to Jimmy Uso. Kyle Wright just got dropped on those ropes. Oh, oh wait. Driving the face down. Oh, there goes Jay sent to the floor. Tyler Breeze. Oh, why do I keep saying Breeze? I meant bait. Apologies there. He, oh, snaps the arm back of Jimmy Uso. Tyler Bay. Oh. Now trying to get the, get things height. As the fight has take, most of the competitors are out on the floor again. What does Jimmy have in mind? As he brings them back in the ring the hard way. Here comes Bobby Fish though. We got one member of each team in the ring. And a super kick to the right to the midsection. Trying to fight back. Bobby Fish actually gonna go to the floor. Gonna try to help out his partner. What does Jimmy have in mind here? And he sets him up and And now getting the crowd hyped. Now, now, now ooze before hitting the hip attack. Oh, there goes Trent Seven being sent back into the ring. Jimmy User gonna look to go for a cover, I think. Yes, he is. But my fish doesn't see it, but oh, it gets broken up either way. But I think the Kyle O'Reilly. Into the midsection. Looking for a brain buster. Oh, what a four strike takes down Jimmy. And oh, broken up there. Submission by Jey Uso. Look at this, submission hold here. Submission. And, oh wait, but I think it's getting broken. Oh wait, there's a tap. There was a tap. And he, oh, now he's got the other Uso. Redragon to the NXT champions. That was so much chaos, I could barely see what was going on there. I'm pretty sure Bobby Fish was playing defense, kept anyone from breaking it up. Allowed well, Kyle O'Reilly to lock in that submission hold. I couldn't even tell who he was submitting. To be honest with you, I could not tell. I'm not sure if we're going to get a replay.
There was so many going on in that match, but there you have it. Reed Dragons in the chaos managed to pick up the submission victory. They are your new NXT Tag Team Champions. And they are sure happy about it. They are once again holding the NXT Tag Titles, and they did it in the midst of the chaos. I was expecting to do uh, the, the match to end once, uh, when only with like maybe at least two people in the ring. They were able to do in the chaos. Good job on Bobby, um, on Bobby Fish for playing the defense for Kyle O'Reilly. But we must move on. As now it's time for the women's championship to be decided in this five-way women's match. This is going to be something. As we're going to be seeing Ember Moon, Rhea Ripley, Asuka, Abaddon, and Peyton Royce. First to a fall, first to submission. Whoever gets it is the one that wins. This is a very interesting match. We have five very, very different women. Uh, all with five very different styles. Yeah, Ember Moon, she's very much, much the, more the athletic type. Rhea with the power. Asuka, one of the best Joshis uh, wrestlers around. Great striker, great, but definitely great with submissions. Abaddon brings the dark, is that dark horse of this entire match. Hayden Royce, a great overall all wrestler um, herself. Definitely smart, great tag wrestler, especially. But she's getting a big opportunity in singles competition. Here comes the Empress of Tomorrow, the woman with the longest NXT Women's uh, uh, Championship reign. Didn't even lose the title, and she's back to reclaim what she never lost. She let uh, she relinquished it due to injury before moving before she moved on. And now she's here, back, and looking to maybe even restart her undefeated streak. Looking to maybe uh, go another two years undefeated with a championship. And she very well could do it. I don't think anyone could, if it's up to her, no one could stop her. She is the Empress of Tomorrow for a reason. Look at her. She is ready. I cannot wait to see how this match is going to end. Who is going to walk away with the NXT Women's Championship as now next making her way to the ring. It is the very scary, very creepy, very terrifying Abaddon. Look at this First, woman. From the other side of darkness, Abbott this, this woman is very much the uh in my opinion the dark horse of this entire match. Oh boy. You can just feel the uh things just the atmosphere change when she's in the when, when she's out here. I'm not even sure what to say much about this living, uh, about this living dead girl. This, she is going to be really something else. If she is the one that comes out on top with the women's championship, I fear her, that is just a scary thought, that she'll be at the top of the women's division. just convulsing all over the place. She is not normal. Oh, 
I just don't know what to say. This woman is just an anomaly. And it's scary to see what she's going to do when that bell rings. I have no, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. This woman is just come. It's just so terrifying. We have five, all four women, you know, you maybe could plan for. You can't plan for this. There is nothing to plan here. You just gotta hope you can survive it and get past it. My oh, gosh. Be careful, don't let her bite, don't, don't let her bite you. You don't need a zombie infect, uh, more zombies around here. Uh, we're gonna move on here, now we're gonna look for the next competitors. As here comes Rhea Ripley. And from Sydney, Australia, Rick this, The Lee. nightmare is here, shows no fear, she makes her way to the ring, Abaddon is I don't know, she's over off in that court, over off in that corner somewhere, just, I don't know what the heck she's doing. Rhea, though, she seems to show no fear at the display of what we just saw. She is only here for one thing, and that is the NXT Women's Championship. Now, next, making her way to the ring. Here she comes, Peyton and Royce. From Sydney, Australia, Peyton Royce. One half of the Iconics. Wow, a great tag wrestler. She knows how to get, he knows what she's doing in singles competition. She once was in a fatal four way that to crown a new NXT Women's Championship, I believe, after when Asuka left NXT. And she did absolutely great in that match. Got pretty close to becoming the NXT Women's Champion. So I believe she has everything that it takes to win this match. But I'm very sure she's going to want to do everything she can possibly do to make sure she stays away from Abaddon. I definitely would want to. And now here comes the fifth competitor of this match. It is Amber Moon. Amber Moon is here and ready to Try and once again become an NXT Women's Champion. As one of probably the most impressive finishing maneuvers you've ever seen, the Eclipse. And quite the maneuver. From Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. We'll see how things go for her tonight. And you got three former NXT Women's Champions in this match. So we'll see which one of them, will it be one of the two that, will it be uh, someone who will be reclaiming a title they once had, or will we see uh, a completely new champion in uh, Payne Royce or uh, Abaddon. The crowd is definitely seems to be behind Amber Moon as this match is about to get on the way. There it is, the NXT Women's Championship. Five women in the ring. Well, four women and four women and a zombie. This is gonna be a very interesting contest. Ember has taken the middle of the ring. Going right after Oscar, those two got some history, and Abaddon going right after the biggest woman of the match. Oh and Headbutt right to the back of her head. 
Oh, Peyton and Abaddon have targeted uh, Rhea Ripley. And that one, I think she's actually just targeting anything. I don't think she, I think it's just uh, a coincidence that both of them were attacking her. As she goes to the outside, I don't even think, I'm not even sure if Abaddon actually cares about the title. I think she just wants to hurt people. Winning the match will just be, uh, you know, just be, I guess, icing on the cake for her with a drop kick. You know, having just a brawl on the outside with Rhea. With a, you saw that, you know, that war cry from Ember Moon as she's going back and forth with Asuka. Hey, Roy's able to get Abaddon down. And look at this, setting her up and a net breaker. A Dory net breaker on the floor. Now it looks like Rhea and Abaddon are uh, Rhea Ripley and Peyton. Oh, look at that! Just help. Just what a shot! Just knocked her down. And that elbow drop by Ember Moon to Asuka, trying to get in to quickly one, two. Ooh, and I, maybe Abaddon does care about winning. She's trying to go for the drop kick, missed it. He gets kicked right in the midsection by Ember Moon. Look at this! Look at this! Got her up and drops Abaddon right on the ropes. Oh, tried to go for the roundhouse kick, missed it. And that takes out Abaddon for the moment, but oh, gets caught with that spinning back fist, and now knees right into the back, an inverted DDT. Scorpion death drop, whatever you like to call it. Big four strike, now Asuka has taken control of this match. Big four strike, sends her into the corner. Oh, a kick to the midsection. Oh, what a forearm strike by Peyton Royce. Abaddon, team they got back into the ring. Gone right after Amber Moon. And a big headbutt right to the face. You no, know, but immediately turned her attention. And, oh, look at that. Two big maneuvers. Now, I don't know, but you know, he got caught there. No elbow, hit to the midsection, and it kicks. Oh, she grab it at the air and just, the feel. Just toss it, and now bashing the skull of Asuka. Now, look at this, trying to pick Asuka up. Oh, whoa, look at that. Suplex, but doesn't let go. A second suplex. Doesn't let go again. And a fisherman suplex with the bridge. Super kick by Asuka. Two. But oh, Asuka able to break it up in time. Now look at the St. Peyton Royce at the outside. Now punt sends her to the floor trying to get one less woman out of this. Oh, she's keeping her attention on Peyton actually. Look at this. I was not getting dropped when a net breaker. And now I'm gonna let that go outside, but I was not roll to the outside. And oh, a drop kick. Look, she targeted both. She ended up targeting both Rhea and Oscar. Look at this. Draw oh, drives her down. Ember's got some power to her. We tried to pick up Rhea for something. Got countered. And. What a take down there. Oh, a super kick right to the side of the face there. Right when she was trying to get up. Hey, Roy, look at the capitalize. Looking to go for that combination of suplexes that nearly could have won the match if it wasn't for Asuka. This time on Ember, Ember Moon. And Abaddon back up to her feet. There's the Fisherman suplex with the bridge. This time Abaddon the one breaking it up. That's got to be frustrating for Peyton Royce. Once again, her nearly won the match just to get stopped. Oh, there's that bloodline DDT. Oh, Ember. Oh, look at this. And, oh, what a curve stomp. Now. 
Look at this, look at the roll for a submission hold. It gets broken up. Referee gets pushed. Referee's down. Asuka refused, uh, he's gonna let go of the hole. Now she gets taken out. Look at this, oh! Drive her down. And that could have been Ed right there. But no, this time Peyton Royce breaking up a pin. And oh, Asuka. Asuka might be thinking Asuka lock. Look at this. And she's got the Asuka lock. She's got it. She's got the Asuka lock. Like Rhea with the strength breaks the hole. And look at this. A Royce with a had Avedon all tied up in the ropes. Now everyone's on the floor. Oh, slide to the face of Abaddon. Oh, and going right at their ember there. Look at this. Oh, driving her into the barricade as Peyton Royce is going to the top. And so oh, diving knee. And now going for the arm. Peyton Royce and Abaddon are the only ones in the ring. She's now going to go for the cover one. But Asuka had to break it up once again. Hey, Royce has got to be getting frustrated, but oh, God, Asuka, Gore, Netbreaker there. Yep, turns her around, look at this, sets her up and drops Ember down. She rolls to the floor. Oh, face, face buster there, takes her, and got Asuka. Now, oh, kick to the face, draws Abaddon. Look at this, look at the strength. Big power bomb. Look at the try and put away, but oh, the referee. Poor ref. Poor referee is not having a good night. He's been he's gotten hit pretty much in almost every match tonight. I hope referees are getting compensated well, because this is just this is just referees are getting punished here and bullied on NXT. And what a spinning back fist. Take out Payne Royce and now Rhea Ripley looks to try and beat the living. Dead girl's face into that turnbuckle. Oh, look at this, trying to set her up. Oh, oh, and she's biting her, she's biting her in the forehead. Bit her in the forehead. Oh, look at that. Oh, got her down for the arm bar. But oh, the rope break. The midsection, turns her around, gonna look for the Oscar lock, she's got the Oscar lock. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, okay, I broke it up, I think. Oh no, I think I think Rhea might have actually gotten in a dive by Ember. And I think Rhea's long lane's got a hold of the rope. Now Peyton Roy's trying to get off Sun over on Asuka targeting the legs. And now I'm gonna go after Rhea. Gonna let the try and steal a win here. One, but no, it's broken up. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh no, she's biting the hand! Abaddon's just biting! Rio. Okay, the eviction. And, oh, bloodline DDT again. And now, oh, look at this, rake it at the face. Trying to go for the waist lock, counter, shot to the back. Oh, face lock. Oh, missed the drop kick. Now got the arm. What is this? What does he got planned? Is she tries to. And all from behind. Oh, I don't know what that was. Train wreck there, if you call it. Kick to the midsection, drop there. No, there's a spinning kick to the face. But Abaddon gonna roll away. Once again, Peyton Royce finds herself an opportunity where she could win this match. Can she hit a big move on Rhea Ripley and put this match away and walk away with the NXT Women's Champion? She bashes the face. But here comes Asuka. Breaking things up. Hayden Royce though, trying to fight her off. Rhea Ripley getting back into this. Oh, trying to go for the arm bar. Oh, got broken up there. Trying to go for the Instagram, he missed. Oh, got caught, kicks. And, oh, there goes Rhea Ripley, gets dropped. Counter the forearm strike. Picks her up, counter. Shot to the back of the leg. 
Snap suplex, going into a cover. One, two, and Amber kicks out. Big farm strike. And I'll pick her up and drives her down. Not gonna try to go for a cover. He's gonna try to go for a cover. Asuka right there to break it up though. Now like Jaw Jacker. Look at this. You know, to send Abaddon to the over the ropes. Now no wait got countered there. And look at that, oh, look at that, oh! Fisherman Driver get, takes out. He tried to go for the super kick, missed it. Kick to the midsection, turns her around. Looking for the electric chair. And, oh, big face buster. And that had to take that Abaddon for the moment. Look at this, look at the athleticism, but oh, I'm able to move out the way, but got caught. And now look at this, Riptide. And Ember trying to steal it. Rhea's not gonna let it happen. And just turned around, kick to the midsection. Going up and Hurricane Rana. Now in the ring, it's oh, up with the shoulder bow. Broke it up thanks to Peyton Royce. Trying to throw those kicks. Oh, got, no, got broken up there. Sweep takes her down. Her moon is in a good position to win this match. There's a DDT right to the foot. Now look at that. Go for it a second time. Now picking her up to her feet. Big forearm strike. Turns her around. Set her up in the corner. But here comes Abaddon. It's all oh, what a spare. Now over a cover. One, two, and that's three. Abaddon. Oh no, Abaddon has just taken the NXT Women's Championship. The dark horse of the match. Is at the top of the women's division. The zombie holds the gold. I don't think anyone expected that one. Not what I don't think anyone expected. And the new NXT Women's Champion. The movie Dead Girl holds the gold. Oh, no, this is not good. This is a scary sight. That is the at the top of the women's division. Who's going to want to go after Abaddon? That is a scary, scary woman zombie to go for. Referee looked terrified to raise her hand. Well, we're going to be moving on to our co-main event. We're not done with women's action. I think Billy Kay coming out here disappointed that her partner could not get the job done. Hopefully that won't distract her too much as she's about to go up against one of the best Joshis ring. around. And she's going to be dealing with Billy Kay. Kyrie Sane. Also who will also be disappointed as she just saw her uh, partner in the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka, not able to get the win. I'm sure both of them will be equally disappointed going into this match, but they're going to have to get their focus straight as they're, they'll be trying to get this win here. We'll see how this match will go. She is ready. She looks confident to be able to win. Now here comes 
the Pirate herself, Kyrie Sane, is here. And her opponent from Yamaguchi, Japan, Kyrie Sane. It's going to be a good Sane. match. Kyrie Sane as a former NXT Women's Champion herself. So it's definitely going to be interesting uh, if she ever go, tries to go and get it back. Especially with Abaddon at the top now. Very interesting. Kyrie saying she looks to be ready for a match. She looks to be ready for this fight. She'll be, uh, be a disadvantage due to uh, Billy Kay's uh, height advantage. And uh, the length of her legs with that big boot, that dangerous big boot. So Kyrie Sane's definitely going to use her speed. But definitely trying to get one over on her. We'll see how this match goes. Rough. Crowd is definitely excited to see how this co-main event is going to turn out. As here we go, this match kicks off. Oh, what a form strike. Kick to the midsection. And oh, the, the interceptor by Kyrie Sane. But doesn't keep Billy Kay down for long. Kick to the chest. But Jaws are these two just going back and forth. We'll try to go for the axe handle, missed that, caught her, but no, oh, kicked in the midsection by Harry Sane. And I was just getting right on top of this beat. Her right in the face. Billy Kay is going to try to roll to the outside, get a bit of separation and breathe her. Hot start there for these two ladies, but oh! Trying to go knock her off the apron, caught her with a kick to the face, but Harry Sane able to recover in time, pulled off the rolls, big back suplex. And now kind of trying to go for an early cover, but not even a one count. Now what is this, Kyrie Sane? What you gonna set up here for is, oh, he got grabbed and take down there. Irish whip off the ropes. And, oh, got caught with an uppercut up on the shoulders. And now dropped on the, on the top rope. Now look at this, able to pull her up off. The mat and a vertical suplex. Kyrie Sane, despite her size, is quite strong. And now we're going to look to go for a German suplex, but way too close to the rope for a bridge. She's already waving bye to her. Kyrie Sane feels like she's got this match in the bad. And now, oh boy, turn through the round, but no, as I say, that reversal. Scorpion death drop on the floor. Kyrie Sane gets back in the ring and is telling her opponent to get in here. Billy Kay's gonna do just that. Does not want to get counted out, but he gets caught. What is this? Oh, up and down. A uh, Dustino. And now Kyrie Sane is pretty much taking control most of this match here. It's the beginning portions of these two going back and forth. And Kai saying she might be more angry than disappointed. She's being aggressive in this match. No, wait. Oh, he got caught. Will to get a hold of that arm. And, oh, shot right to the... And now, oh, look at this. She's got her up. And a, oh, huge Northern Light driver. And that could be all... Done for Kyrie saying one. They're all like a kick out of one. I don't think Billy Kay even knows how that happened. She's gonna look to go for that big boot now. Gotta put this match away. And oh, there it is. There's that boot that right, right to the face. One, two, but Kyrie Sane still finds a way to kick out. Okay, I can't believe that was not enough as she just stomps and now maybe trying to mock her for her partner not being able to win. And oh, there's an interceptor again. She 
letting out a battle cry there. There's Kyrie Sane having in mind here. She's just stalking Billy Kay, waiting for her to get up to her feet. Now catching her with a forest strike, gonna kick in the midsection. Now sending her into the corner. What does Kyrie Sane have in mind here? Grabbing at the legs, but gets pushed off. And, oh, look at this. Look at this athleticism. And she's going around, and a big head scissors drops her. And Kay starting to feel it. Now Irish Whist send her off the ropes. And oh, but it gets counted again. And a big foreign strike drops her. And now going up top might be thinking the un insane elbow. No, wait, no. Instead, gonna look for a moonsault. Going for the cover. One, two, but a kick out of the count of two. Now going to go for that arm. They're gonna do the damage as she drives her shoulder into the mat. What is Kyrie Sane have in mind? It gets countered, knee to the face. Look at this, set her up, and oh, trying to go for the split leg drop. Got caught, and now Irish whip into the corner. And again, whatever she's going for gets countered. Oh, got caught with a big kick there. Got her up and drives her down. A kick to the head, followed by the Northern Light driver. That could be it right there. If that's not enough, I don't know what it is. One, two, and Kyrie Saint still kicks out. Kyrie now trying to look to end this match. They're gonna go for that big boot again. Billy Kay might have just taken this match too, and that's three. It was a tough match, but Billy Kay was able to come out on top. Billy Kay definitely had to throw everything she had at Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane, I think that was the best shot Kyrie had this entire I had the entire match. That moonsault just didn't find an opportunity to go for the insane elbow, unfortunately. And I don't know what she was going for in the corner, but it kept getting countered. And that that, that big Northern Light driver. Just the setup to the big boot, because if you kick out of that, the big boot is what comes next, and I don't see how most can kick out of it. Nearly put her away with that. Billy K able to Here pick up the win. Not a good night for the Kabuki Warriors, but at least a semi good night for for the Iconics. She seems quite proud of herself. And we're going to move on to our main event. It is time to see who is going to become the NXT champion. This is, this is quite the lineup that the general managers have set up. Quite hard to see, quite hard to pick who's going to win this. All of these men are world champion material. As I'm even winning world championships uh, has, and even has held the NXT title in the past. There's three former NXT champions in this match in Alistair Black, Kevin Owens, and Drew McIntyre. Are they coming here? And, but here comes the oldest of the entire match. Here comes Minoru Suzuki. Japan. This man is up Weighing in his fifties and could be to be seeing him hold Rainer the big Rude the big Suzuki. prize here in NXT. This man is dangerous. Definitely gotta be up there with someone like Nick Gage, the very dangerous individuals. Hard hitting. Lo knows how to make people submit. He likes to fight and likes to even. He'll even let you hit him just to smile at you and hit you even and hit you twice as hard. Do not let the age of this man fool you. He is a dangerous, dangerous person. Now we're gonna be moving on to the next person making his way to the ring. Here he comes, he is back here at NXT, the prize fighter, 
fight oh and fight Quebec, Canada, in at he is here to Kevin become a two-time NXT champion Yes, man, this is a, definitely a match for him. He, you know, he's always about the opportunities. He can, he, he was great here in NXT, got better on the main roster. He's back. We'll see what he has planned. Fans are definitely behind Kevin Owens. He definitely looks like he's ready for a fight. Ready to become champion. Next, here comes the Scottish Psychopath. And again, another former NXT champion. It is Drew McIntyre. Two of the, probably, uh, definitely going to be a interesting thing. See how he goes in this match. One of the bigger competitors, along, at least by height, is definitely the biggest in this match. Got that dangerous Claymore kick. And he looks ready. And from Air Scotland, weighing in at 200. Scott is psychopath. He's going to do whatever it takes to walk away with the NXT championship. Trying to get the people hyped. It is hot in this arena. There has been so much great action. It has been a crazy, crazy night. And he looks ready. He looks determined. He's trying to get the crowd behind him. Trying to get himself all hyped up. Here comes the next competitor. And here he comes. It is the tribal chief himself. Roman Reigns is here. Roman Reigns gotta be he's probably a little annoyed with his cousin the Usos for not being able to walk away with those NXT tag team titles. But he plans on getting the job done tonight. He's probably even more annoyed thanks to the uh, the words of Samoa Joe over on Raw. He's been calling himself the tri the, tr the new tribal chief on Raw. And I think that is just pissing him off. To think that someone else is trying to take his title, what he calls himself. I wonder, will that anger and irritation, will that distract him? Will that motivate him? Let's see what happens. This will be the first time he'll ever try to hold the NXT Championship. He looks confident. Crowds is booing him. No, definitely do not like Roman. Man will do anything it takes to win. But I have uh, just hope that the Usos don't decide to come out and help him. Because we have one more competitor to make their way out to this ring before this match begins. And here he comes. Here he comes. A former NXT champion. As well. The arena is dark as we wait for him to appear.
Should be coming out here soon. And there he is. He's coming, he's rising from the depths. It is Alistair Black. And from Amsterdam, Holland, weighing in at 215 pounds. This man is quite a Alistair danger. Black. Definitely, in my opinion, could be the Dark Horse. Uh, I wouldn't normally call this man the Dark Horse of the match, but with Lenore Suzuki here, I gotta give it to the, the oldest man in this match. And if Minoru Suzuki wins, he'll be the uh, oldest man to have ever held the NXT Championship. Let's see how that goes. Alistair Black slowly makes his way to the ring. All these men have very dangerous finishing maneuvers that can make this match end very quickly. Roman with the spear, Alistair with the black mask, the Claymore from Drew McIntyre. The pump up power bomb from Kevin Owens. The uh, the Gotch style pile driver for Minoru Suzuki. All oh, these men are quite dangerous. Let's we'll see how this match goes. As in, we're about to get started here. Here we go. And if you can see, yes, management, the general managers have decided to bring back the old NXT uh, championship. They retired the old design and brought back the original. Where is Suzuki? Where is Suzuki? Looks ready. All of them looks ready. Here we go. And oh, what a Larry it takes down Drew McIntyre. Alistair going right at and Mara Suzuki going right at each other. Roman going at the Kevin Owens. Try to go for the kick. It's hard to really say who could win this match. Could end at any time. Seeing how the women's title match win, it could very much be anybody. And Roman is all over Kevin Owens. So is Drew McIntyre. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. And Roman took down Drew for breaking up that maneuver there. This has been, a, this is not even a match. It's a fight. It's a scrappy, stiff fight. As Alistair and Minoru Suzuki have taken their fight to the floor. As the three bigger, heavier guys are fighting it out in the ring. Roman and Kevin Owens going back and forth. Now Drew going, attacking from behind. Oh, takes down Drew. Now Roman trying to get the headlock on Kevin Owens. Big uppercut. Now Irish whip, sent him in the corner. But oh, Roman without the way. And a shot to the midsection. And oh, what a lariat. And oh, oh try to go for a one. Boom. Takes him down there. Kurt Suzuki has just out, tried, stopped his fight. Now trying to go for a cover, but Drew McIntyre breaks it up. That's gonna piss Suzuki off, but he gets taken down by Drew. I don't think Suzuki is used to fighting such big competitors like this. Let's see how he's able to adapt, but he gets picked up and dropped from such a high height. And oh, Roman's all over Alistair Black. Kevin Owens laying in the shots on Drew. And here comes Mur Suzuki. Oh, it's broken up by Kevin Owens. He picks him up, but oh, broken up there. Drew falls hard. Now, Suzuki's trying to go after Kevin Owens there. He goes after the arm, but he gets broken up. Big form strike. And a headbutt. And a boot to the midsection. Suzuki fighting back. Oh, look at that. Oh, a flatliner. Roman is just beating the hell out of Alistair Black on the floor. Kevin Owens 
Look at this. Oh, no. Look at the power of Drew McIntyre. Oh, yes. And, oh, no. Alistair Black is, has a crimson mask, but he's finally turned things around with those kicks, and now after that, that inverted Alabama slam, Drew tried to go for the pin. Alistair Black going right after Suzuki. Now looking for that combination of strikes. Drops him and hits him down. But oh my gosh, a Larry to the back of the head takes down. Roman is all over. It's out there. Black is now a spear. He's got a target. He's now trying to win this match right now. But no. Roman just with the oh, look at this power, but don't get broken up. Kevin Owens is all over Drew McIntyre. Oh, Irish Whip sends him into the corner. Oh, the referee's down again. Oh, what is Kevin Owens doing? Kevin Owens setting up Drew up on the top. Oh, he's setting him up for the Tree of Woes. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at that. Alistair with a double stomp. And then a Norton Light Super with the bridge. It all gets broken up and it's like the knee collided with Drew. And now look at this. Come, come back here from Alistair Black. He's a bleeding mess thanks to Roman Reigns. And all five competitors are back in the ring. And what is this? Oh! Mara Suzuki, he's got Roman for the God style pile driver. What is Drew doing? Drew just in. Oh no, wait, Drew. Drew. Drew with a dive to the Kevin Owens. And Alistair Black breaking out the pinfall. But a four strike stunning him. Shot to the midsection. Kick to the midsection. DDT. He now picks him back up to his feet. And oh, what a. Discus forearm strike. I mean, a discus knee strike. And now going to look to go after Roman Reigns after he just took that pile driver. Black mask to the side of the head. Going for the cover. One, two, no one to stop him. <laughs> My God, even after a black mask and a pile driver, Roman still finds a way to kick out and gets back up to his feet to fight. No way. Is he about to. He's gonna set up for a spear. No, he's gonna set up for a Superman punch. Alistair Black is already bleeding. And oh, there it is, the Superman punch. He could be out just after that. Oh, look at this, look at the strength. Look at the strength, he's not content. Huh? He wants to do more damage and now gonna to have to go for the, the fight between Kevin Owens and Drew McIntyre continued all the way, counter! He countered the spear into a DDT! Oh, oh, Alistair Black was able to stop. Big roundhouse kick, stunning. Minoru Suzuki. This is the midsection, look, look at the blood all over the face. Look at this pop-up powerbomb! The pop-up powerbomb. Roman up to his feet. Look at this, just... Slam down Minoru Suzuki. He doesn't care if he's over 50. He is still going to bring the pain. Oh, the boot takes down Owens. Now, Roman looks at, wants to get rid of Drew. I think Drew's also bleeding. Now going to look to do the damage to Suzuki. But Suzuki, Suzuki able to come. It's got Roman again. Oh, it's not another pile driver. Everyone's down. Everyone's down. One. Two! And now oh, Roman kicks out again. How in the world is he kicked out? Suzuki, I don't know how he not, was not able to put away Roman right there. Roman has just kicked out after taking a second pile driver and he's also taking the black mask. Oh, trying to fight back, but gets dropped. Roman got dropped by Drew. Oh, Suzuki. Oh, he's got down. He got him down with a Fujiwama armbar. But he gets broken up thanks to Alistair and an all black mask. One, two, but Kevin Owens breaks it up. Chuck it over a super kick, missed it. Look at this. Back super takedown. Kevin Owens. 
It's the second black match, but not able to take away. Oh, take right to the leg, kick to the head. The kicks, and look at the strength of Drew, powerbomb. There goes Suzuki. Now oh, there's big knee right to the face. What a fight this has been. Two men are bleeding profusely. Oh, oh wait. And just Drew. Mizu oh, and I see blood from Suzuki. Another set of power bombs. This time he's going for the cover. One. One. Two. It all Kevin Owens kicked out. Alcibar could not get in there time. He is exhausted. Oh, look at that. Oh, Alistair going after Roman. Look at the submission hold here. He's got the submission, but Alistair breaks it up. Alistair should be going after Kevin Owens or Roman Reigns, but he wants to go after Suzuki. Or, oh, caught Roman with a kick right to the midsection. Oh, what a head play. And oh, a spear. And that could be it right there. But no, Kevin Owens is right there to break it up and takes the ref again. Poor referee and a Metsuguchi driver to block Owens. Roman is pissed. Oh, he is pissed. That he can't see to let this match end because keep everything gets broken up and now he's gonna make Owens pay. As he looks for the sit-out power bomb. Suzuki trying to get up to his feet. Big lariat by Roman Reigns. A second lariat. Ducks. And a third one by the tribal chief. Oh, wait, trying to go for something here. Oh! Drop kick, but he can but Suzuki connects with Roman instead. Kick in the midsection. Oh, got caught. Kick to the back of the head. Now, what is this? What is Asa Black doing? And oh, but he got caught. I don't know what he was setting up for, but Roman recovered and caught him with the Superman punch. Oh, Drew break things up. Roman trying to get a cover, but Drew not going to let him have it. And now, oh, got Roman. He got him for the future shock DDT. But Kevin Owens right there to break it up. And Roman's going to roll to the outside of the ring. Oh, look at this. Oh, he picked up Kevin Owens. My gosh, what a belly to belly. And another submission. Another submission. Is Alan Glass going to submit? No, no. And Drew couldn't get there in time. Drew couldn't get there in time. Oh, my he just crushes Kevin Owens in the corner out of frustration. Minoru Suzuki is the NXT champion. My gosh. I don't think that any, again, that complete another upset. What a crazy match this was. Everyone got so close and so many different opportunities. Oh, look at that block mass to the back of the head. I don't even know how Suzuki was ever, ever, ever able to come back in this match after taking that move. Oh, gosh. Renora Suzuki has just become the NXT Champion. I don't think anyone saw that coming or expected that to happen. This man, this old man, this man is over, it's, it's over 50, is, is on the top. I hope you all enjoyed World Wrestling GM Mode Episode 3, and we will see you for Episode 4, Power 25.